where Paul is saying, I know whom I believe. I I am convinced that he will keep what I have entrusted to him until that day. So Paul knew that he was now about to die. Nero was going to kill him. He was not going to be released this time around. And he decides to write to Timothy. Encouraging him. He says, even though I may be in here as a prisoner of Christ, do not be discouraged. You are out there as Timothy. I am in here as Paul. I am not ashamed of the gospel. I may be in prison, but I am not ashamed. I may be about to die, I am not ashamed. And the reason I am not ashamed, I know whom I have believed. And knowing him meant that he has an experiential relationship with him. The knowledge he was talking about was not a knowledge that he has read. He has gotten from books. But it was out of experiencing God. What he can do. His power. Power to protect. Power to provide. So he says, I know him. This is not a fairy tale. I know him. Whom I have believed. Then he continues to say, I am convinced. Meaning I have looked at what he can do. What he is able to do. What he has done. What he continues to do. And that assures me of what he will do. Even tomorrow. The day after tomorrow. In the future. So I know what he can do and that he will do that which he can do. Then he says, I am convinced he will keep what I have entrusted him with. <laughs> he will keep it. Uh, until that day, what is it that Paul could give to God? In that very chapter, he addresses the issue of death. In verse 12, he says to Timothy, the death has been conquered by God. So he says to him, if I give my life to him to keep it for me, I am convinced he will keep it for me until that day. So Timothy was hearing from Paul a message that was saying, Nero may be about to kill me now, but I am not worried because my life I have entrusted it to God and I am convinced that he will keep it for me until that day which day the day he was pointing to was the second coming when Jesus is saying when I come I will receive you for myself, for you to be where I am. In other words, Paul was saying to Timothy, those who die in Christ, they don't die, but they sleep. So even if he 
kills me. I will just sleep. To be woken up. When Jesus comes. I am convinced. That he will keep my life. Until the second coming. So Timothy. Wherever you are. Take courage. I am encouraged. In prison. About to die. But I know. Who I have believed. So he was saying to him. Experience him for yourself so that you can say like I say I am convinced he will keep my life until the day he gives it back to me so I am here to say to you Chief of Jesus District keep that in experience your God walk with your God until he comes if you sleep it is fine you will not lose your life if you die in Christ worship him love him serve him until that day Bye -bye.